Okay, question nine, part one, um, says that the the uh, this region here, this shaded region here, is rotated around the y-axis. Um, so we need to be careful here. We're, we're going to be putting in limits for y, which means the first thing we need to do is make x the subject here. So we've got an equation involving y's, not involving x's. So I'm going to take my y equals 2 ln x minus 1 and make x the subject. So to do that I'm going to divide by 2 and then we need to think about how we kind of un unlog a number but if we think about the fact that if we've got x equals e to the y then y equals ln of x that's the situation we've got here. We've got something to do with y equals ln of something to do with x. So the bracket here is like my x. So I can write that x minus 1 is e to the, the y term that we've got, which here is y over 2. And then x will just be e to the y over 2 plus 1. The next step The next step is to then uh, remember how we find a volume of revolution, not just an integral. And to find the vol a volume of revolution, we need to square um, our function the whole thing, not just each term, we need to square the whole thing. So I'm going to need to expand these brackets. So I'm going to write it out twice and expand it out. So we're going to get um, e to the y over 2 times e to the y over 2, which is going to be e to the 2y over 2, which is just e to the y, plus e to the y over 2 times 1 plus another e to the y over 2 times 1 so that's going to be 2 e to the y over 2 and then plus 1 times 1 so that's what we're going to ex what, that's what we're going to integrate let's move this down a bit so I'll just section that off So we are integrating and, like I said earlier, um, we need to times by pi as well because it's a volume of evolution. So pi times e to the y plus 2e to the y over 2 plus 1. That's dy and from the diagram we're integrating between naught and p. So don't worry about having to put in p. Um, we'll just have it in terms of p when we come to sub do the substitutions. So let's now integrate that. e to the y integrates uh, as e to the y. 2e to the y over 2 is going to be 2e to the y over 2. But we're going to need to divide by the coefficient of y, which here is a half. So dividing by y... Uh, sorry, dividing by half is the same as timesing by 2. So that's going to be a 4 in a second. And then when we integrate 1, we get y. That's between p and 0. So when we put our limits in, we're going to have e to the p plus 4e to the p over 2 plus p sorry I shouldn't have done a square bracket there I should have had a this should be a round bracket take away what we get when we put 0 in and when we put 0 in we're going to get e to the 0 which is 1 plus uh, 4e to the 0 which is also 1, so 4, plus 0, so that's nothing. 
So that's pi e to the p plus 4 e to the p over 2 plus p take 5. And if you look at what they've written, that's exactly the same as what we've got. So we've finished part one.